guys so it's so nice to come sit down and talk to you guys i feel like when i go through the weekend i just miss you guys so much and i miss filming i'm such a weirdo i know but it just feels good to be filming um but today's video is going to be on some new uh, makeup revolution palettes that just came out recently i don't know if you guys know already but i absolutely love makeup revolution products like most of them I really love and I feel like for the price they do really really well. Their eyeshadow palette game has gone up lately. I'm not even joking. So one of the palettes is the Flawless 4 palette and I already have the 3. As you can see one's much shiny. I've used this palette so much. Let me just clean that a little bit. One's super super shiny and the other one's kind of like a matte finish. But they're both like kind of this rose goldy colour. And I'm also going to be reviewing the... Soph Times Makeup Revolution palette that she recently created. Soph Does Nails is a YouTuber and I always watch her videos. I've actually met her. I met her at the Go Glam Gala and she was so sweet. She was like, let me subscribe to you. She's just really genuine and sweet. Like, she's just lovely. Anyways, I'm really happy that she has created this palette and to be honest, I feel like she did really, really good with the shades. I was kind of surprised because she's kind of like more on the paler side with her like her skin tone i wasn't expecting such dark browns and i was really happy to see that there's a good variety in her palette but i'll show you guys the palette in a bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly talk you through the palettes and the shades and swatches and then we'll get on to playing with the shadows on each eye okay so this is the soph palette and it has this matte beige packaging it's stunning and really sturdy and it's so her i just feel like i think of her when i see the palette um and then you get these stunning colors in the palette it's just just so unique i've never seen a palette like it um and i'm just going to talk you through the swatches so this is the pale white shade i was actually very surprised by this one it's very white very like pigmented um then this is my favorite one to set my eyeshadow with it's just like a beigey color this one I kind of had to like layer a bit more um, and then this is a more cool tone shimmery shade. You will see that with the matte colours I did have to kind of layer a few layers with it just so that it could show up a bit more but when you layer it they're actually quite okay. Um, this is like a camely colour and this is the first row by the way guys. So this is cup of tea, I think. It's just a really nice one um, to put in the crease. Now onto the second row, you've got these really nice pure bronzy shades. I, these three colours that are coming up now um, are actually some of my favourites in the palette. They're just so my type of colours. I just really love them and they're just so pigmented and they just shine on the lid. This purple is just incredibly intense. Just a stunning colour. Um, and then here's a kind of mauve matte and what colour would I call it? Like a pinky mauve matte. I did have to layer a bit more on these two. So that's kind of like the two first two rows. Now onto the third row. So you've got this really nice colour. It's kind of very similar to Eden from Huda Beauty palette. I, it kind of reminds me of that. And then you've got um, that super like intense red the green is stunning oh my god this color like it's kind of like a gray but with blue reflex in it with some mauve it's just a unique color i love it so much i need to do a tutorial on this um, color then you've got your gray i don't really use gray on my lids but if you do have a paler skin tone or even darker i feel like it, go it would go better on paler skin tones but it's still quite pretty um, then you have a more intense red, which was super intense. Then you've got like a fuchsia colour, a matte one, and then kind of like a shimmery fuchsia. But with the shimmery like metallic shades, you just need one swipe, girl. You don't need much. They're just really pigmented. And then that's the brown, the brownie mattes. I did have to layer a bit with them. They were a bit streaky. And then the matte, matte black, I was quite impressed with the black to be honest. I did layer a few layers on and when you do layer it actually is quite intense. So those are the colours from the Soph palette. Now onto the Flawless 4 palette. This palette has a kind of matte shimmery rose gold packaging and here's a little comparison to the Flawless 3 palette. Um, 
and we're going to jump straight into the swatching i'm going to go through quickly with these ones because there's quite a lot of shades in this palette and i don't want to drag this video on um i did have to lay a few um layers with the metallic shades especially the gold ones and the lighter ones the darker metallic shades were a bit more pigmented so they just needed one swipe and they were fine um the matte shades are absolutely stunning um I'm just really really happy with the matte shades in this palette but can you see how the like darker metallics are much more pigmented um here are some of the matte colors this is the first and second row by the way in order and the matte shades come out really really pigmented on one swipe but then once you do a second swipe they come out much more pigmented and intense the matte browns did, were having a bit of trouble when they were swatched but when you apply them on the eyes they're actually really really nice um so yeah that's the first and second row for you guys now onto the third and fourth row um again like they're just stunning look at those mattes just so pretty that's the black shade there for you guys um, it was having some trouble but when you put it on the lid it's actually quite nice and here look at these metallic shades they're just perfect Stunning. look at that last copper shade all right so those were the swatches and to be honest I was very impressed especially by the soap palette the pigments the color selection is really really good but the real question is how is it going to go onto my eyelids so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do two different eye looks which is going to be really weird but to this this video is mostly to kind of experiment with the shadows and give you my overall thoughts on them and i'll try and do a really nice look i'm not going to do my skin makeup today because i just feel like there's not really any point okay so i've just zoomed you in and the first thing i'm going to do is use my tarte shape tape concealer to power my lids i'm just going to take this shade right here this is just going to set all of that in place that is like a perfect setting shade for my skin tone and it's good that there's a white because if you're paler you can kind of mix the two if you need to so far so good I'm really tempted to go into this colour so I'm just going to grab this shade right here this shade is called this shade is called cup of tea actually i do feel like i have to dig my brush in but it's showing up on my skin tone which is good um and it's blending nicely i'm then gonna grab this shade right here this shade is called pumpkin i really want like the crease color to be like really bright there is a lot of fallout but i mean it doesn't show up as bright on my skin as it comes out on the palette but that's okay still quite impressed with it there is a ton of fallout i'm gonna grab this shade right here it's called mug cake and just really pack this the outer corner I feel like that's really 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 not pigmented enough for me yeah it's just like not how a re real brown shows up on my skin tone it's just like washing out okay so that's how the brown is I'm gonna try and use the black now Dip my brush in the black and there is quite some fallout and the black is called a nightmare and I'm just gonna see if this oh see the black's good the black's not bad the black is quite nice I mean it blended okay I wish it was a bit bit darker but you know what for a 10 pound palette i'm not mad at this black i do wish that the brown was a bit more pigmented however 
Um, I'm now going to go in with this amazing green right here. I've been dying to try this one out. I am going to spritz it with makeup spray because it's usually what I normally do with my lid colours. Not mad at the green. The green did really well. I have to go into that purple. I have to. The purple is called, by the way, the green was pine tree and the purple is mixed berries. So again, I'm going to take some on a flat synthetic brush and I'm just going to spray it with some setting spray. And this is just going to go in the middle. This is really not like an eyeshadow look. Well, it could be if you like it, but I'm just like trying to experiment with the colors right now. I'm just dipping with a bigger brush with pumpkin and I'm just like deepening that crease. I just feel like the black's starting to fade away. Right, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. This is what the look looks like. I mean, I don't think that's quite nice, but that's because I've just mixed a bunch of random colors together. Um, but I do feel like the crease colors are really, really nice and they're easy to blend. The black is good, but once you start to blend on top of it, it does kind of start to fade away with most more affordable palettes that have a black in it. It's not like my most favorite black eyeshadow is Anastasia Beverly Hills Noir and that eyeshadow is the blackest black you can get but I've realised with more like affordable palettes when you use the black it kind of fades away um, and it comes, it, it sometimes show more, shows more as a grey black rather than a pure black um, I do, I am surprised with the black though, it is very p pigmented for the price of the palette I mean it's not the best out there but I feel like she did really good with the pigmentation, the feel, the eyeshadows. I feel like all the metallics are perfect. Okay, so now we're going to go try and test a bit of the Flawless Fall Palette. Again, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape. So the first shade I'm going to pick up is this one. And then I'm going to take this shade right here. This colour right here built up better than the pumpkin shade here. Like pumpkin wasn't really showing up on me whilst this is, it's there, you know? Then I'm going to take this colour right here. I'm also dying to use this gold right here. I'm going to just use a flat brush and I'm going to spritz it with some setting spray. I'm going to clean the brush and I want to compare it to the, the really nice gold in the Soph palette. I just cleaned the brush by the way. Um, I'm going to try this shade right here and again spritz it. like that came out more metallic and vibrant than the oh that's pretty I'm just gonna put that all over I was really excited for this matte brown because you know I always like a matte brown so I'm gonna try this one can you guys see the difference between this brown and the one that I tried with the soap palette it's like showing up more I'm really happy with that. Okay, we're gonna try the black in the I find the black shadows the same, like they're the same deepness, same everything really. Yeah, so the black's the same for me. It's not much not as much fallout with this palette. 
So that's me kind of experimenting with these shadows on my eyes just to get like a feel of it. Now I do have to say that I'm really really happy with like overall with the palettes, both of them. The Sove palette is actually really really nice very nice i would definitely recommend you trying it out the color selection is very unique and she's trying to make it useful for like all year round for halloween spring summer winter autumn like you have a, a palette that is quite versatile and you can use it for a lot of looks you can definitely create a lot of looks with it i just kind of wish that some of the matte shades were a bit more pigmented i did find when i was swatching them i did need to layer them twice uh, while with the whilst with the flawless full palette i didn't really need to do that with most of the matte shades so yeah, I just feel like the pigmentation of the mattes are not as good sometimes. Um, mostly the browns, not like the red, reds. Actually, pumpkin still was quite... It, I feel like it showed up, but this one showed up much more like quicker as well. But the metallics are definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. They're really good, especially for £10 for this palette. With the Flawless 4 palette, I did find that with some of the shimmery shades, it didn't come out as, much, as pigmented, so it's kind of the opposite with the Sove palette. But the mattes are so so good so pigmented um the black is kind of similar with the soft palette the brown is super pigmented so i was really pretty pleased with that and yeah like i'm really happy with the shade i prefer this to the flawless um three palette because you have more darker colors that i can work with whilst 50% of the Flawless Free Palette I couldn't really use because they wouldn't really show up on me. Whilst this is more, is better for like all skin tones but more for darker skin tones. So if you're like my skin tone or deeper, I'll definitely recommend the Flawless 4 over the Flawless 3. There is some fallout with both. I mean there was less with this one compared to the Soap Palette. But again, it's a really good palette. I will give it a 9 out of 10 just because the... Um, shimmery colours, like the metallic colours, some of them weren't as pigmented. Um, they both come with massive mirrors, which I'm really happy with about. Sturdy packaging. This was £8. This was £10. You just can't go wrong, guys. This video was more of like a review and me testing the colours out. Um, I will definitely do some looks with them, some proper looks. Um, definitely with the Soph palette because I feel like I can really do a really nice unique look with that palette. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button if you want to uh, stay tuned with those videos. But yeah, I think that's what I have to say. I'm really, really happy I've got these palettes. I feel like I would reach more for the Soph palette and the Flawless 4 palette rather than my 3 palette because let me just show you it. Like I love these colours here, but everything on this side I weren't using. Some of these colours aren't even used, so... I'm just really happy about that. I do want to say a huge congratulations to Soph. Like, she really did an amazing job with this palette. The price and everything. And I'm just... It's just nice to see YouTubers collaborate with brands. I'm always for that. And, yeah, I'm just really happy for her. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm really happy with both, to be honest. They're both good in their own ways. I'll stop blabbering now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.